What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to week five of UNPL Season 5. This week, we take on Kyle A., the absolute goat and coach of the Miami Dawn fans. But before we jump into everything, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to click the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded, and share the video with your friends. Of course, we're going to do a quick team builder before we jump into things, but you can skip ahead if you would like to with the timestamps down below. So this is a match that I've been looking forward to all season against the absolute GOAT, Kyle A. We wanted him in this season so badly, and we are so happy that he did say yes. And this week, oh boy, we've got a tough matchup ahead of us. Now listen, Kyle hasn't been doing all that great this season, but that doesn't mean that he's going to go easy on us this time around. He's made a bunch of changes, and honestly, this team looks kind of stupid with how powerful it is now. We've got Palafin plus Meowscarada, which is crazy. I had Meowscarada in season three of UNPL, and then of course Palafin last season. Palafin took me all the way to finals. We know how strong that is around here. It's really, really good. Of course, Deoxys Defense gives you amazing hazard setting. It gives you the possibility of cosmic power, calm mind. Um, it can do a ton of different things. It's actually a teleport mon, which is great. Very, very rare nowadays. We've got Gengar, one of my favorite mons just in general, but it's also a really nice, powerful special attacking ghost type. We've got Hoodra, which is an insane mon to take on. This mon is so bulky, especially on that special side. Oh man, it's an absolute pain. Mousehold as a Terra Captain is crazy. Uh, Kyle really wanted to try this out this season, and I think he has been putting in some absolute work with this. He brought like Flame Orb Facade one week with Fling. Uh, he's, he's cooking, he's absolutely cooking. And this thing is really, really cool. We've got Enamorous Therian as a nice bulky mon. We also had that way back in SSBA. Uh, we remember that that was pretty decent there. Doug Trio with Arena Trap allowed, which is cool. The Terra Electrode, which to me seems like the more obvious choice here instead of Mousehold. And then finally, Regigigas for the memes. Uh, th this team is is crazy. He, he started off with a team that was kind of meh, right? But man, he made a bunch of shifts and this team is now crazy strong. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of terrified in, in what it is I'm supposed to do to win this game. But I think we've come up with a plan that will work out. So let's take a look at that. Starting off, we're bringing Mew off the bench for the first time. I've actually not used Mew since back in sun and moon days so it's it's been a hot minute since i've used this thing but it's uh this is a cool set right we are running choice scarf with the transform tech on here to possibly be able to grab something if he starts boosting up with one of his mods that could be really cool if it's like a bulk up palafin or uh does something with Masquerada, maybe uh if i'm in a position to where his mods that he has left are weak to whatever is in this might be the play in uh, in saving the game. We've also got close combat, Zen Headbutt and Knockoff so that we can do things ourselves, which is really cool. Synchronize could be great for bouncing back some status moves. Overall, this is a pretty cool set. Next up, also coming off the bench for the first time, Alolan Ninetales. I am excited to be bringing Aurora Veil vale here. Uh, you can probably tell what's coming right after this, but yeah, my Alolan Ninetales is really, really cool to be able to set up that veil, to be able to make my team a lot bulkier, and possibly be able to set up on Kyle's team. Kyle's team hits really hard, so this defensiveness is going to really make a difference. And then, of course, we've got Blizzard and Moonblast for coverage, as well as Baton Pass to be able to get into one of those threats that wants to set up. Speaking of threats that want to set up, uh, Backscalibur right here. We've got the basic OU set. Well, I guess Uber set set now uh, but sword stance scale shot ice school spear earthquake with the loaded dice very very standard here we've got enough speed to outspeed his entire team once we are plus one and that is hopefully what we will be able to do is uh, get off a sword stance against something get that scale shot going and then just kind of sweep uh, back scalibur is really really good into kyle's team uh, he doesn't have a lot that takes hits from it and so as long as we can get this in the right position i think we're gonna be just fine next up we're bringing bayonet once again and this thing can terra this time around once again into the ghost type we brought a culberberry this time around uh, again we kind of floated the idea of being choice banded or possibly even being the spell tag once again. But we've got Skitter Smack to possibly catch the Meowscarada coming in on this. And we also have Trick Room in order to set up the next mod that we are going to look at, which uh, may or may not come into play, but it also helps 
with our poltergeists being a little bit more effective with us being a little bit faster. Our fifth member coming this week is our bear tick. The well-played bear tick is coming off the bench here and we are running swift swim intentionally to not get the boost in speed from the snow. I want this to be more of a trick room type of thing and so I have intentionally gone with negative speed and we are not going to be taking advantage of that slush rush this time around. We've got Aqua Jet which hits very hard especially with Terra Water which we're packing this week. Icicle Crash for just you know stab and it also hits most of his team and I brought Super Power uh, it's because I forgot that this thing got close combat to be fully honest with you So uh, yeah, this this definitely should have been close combat, but it is superpower So is what it is and finally wheezing coming once again this time We are bringing neutralizing gas finally off of the bench here We've got red card to possibly swap something out which is nice pain split to keep us healthy toxic spice to maybe spread some status around which would be really cool taunt stops any kind of setup or anything like that and of course dealing damage with sludge bomb but that is the basic gist and that is our team for this week i hope you all are looking forward to this awesome match versus the absolute goat i want to say a huge thank you to it's danny mac and scrub supreme for helping me out with mocks and prep and without any further ado let's find kyle and get joined up all right, here we go. We have our match versus Kyle, and oh boy, he brought Reggie Gigas. Uh, I I did not prep for Reggie Gigas even a little bit, um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Uh, Palafin makes sense. Uh, Gengar sure. Uh, Deoxys we kind of expected. Um, I didn't really do anything specifically for Doug Trio, but I. I think we're gonna be fine on that. Um, okay, this should be uh, this should be interesting. Here, here's the thing with, with Kyle, you never know what to prep for, right? I, I've never played him, but I've I've been watching his content for years. Uh, you never know what he's gonna do, and so it's it's impossible to prep for for Kyle. Um, I think that uh, Bayonet is gonna be my best lead here. I have been leading Nine Tails, but I found that when I did some mocks, especially with Bandito, uh, that if I led Ninetales into the Deoxys, that I had some issues. So I would rather lead with this and um, and and like kind of scare that out a little bit, which is which is good. Um, we don't necessarily have to Terra right off the bat, but it is an option. Um, e either either this or Bear Tick can Terra this this week, so either way is totally fine. Uh, so he goes with De Deoxys. Yep, makes sense. Deoxys, defense. Uh, Poltergeist does uh, approximately a million. Um, so I, I really want to get rid of this, to be honest. Uh, you do have your normal type this week, so he might just go straight into mouse hold, but is that a problem? Is it is it worth going for Terra right now on this? If he's not max defense, this just KOs on this thing. Yeah, if he's not max defense, this just KOs. Let's stop to not Terra just yet. He does switch. Uh, I assume that's the mouse hold. That's not mouse hold. Oh okay, yeah, he has two. He has two normal types this week. Uh, so yeah, we go into Reggie. Uh, so yeah, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Um, I've got to get out of here. Um, we're gonna go into our wheezing real quick. And uh, we're gonna we're, we're just gonna figure out how to how to go from here. That's totally fine. Uh, what do you what do you want to do? I, I got I just got rid of his uh, huge power or his uh, his slow start. So he actually is at max power right now, um, which is uh, a little a little interesting. But as soon as this goes down, he's gonna reset. So yeah, that's kind of kind of the the idea uh, behind this is that I can take hits pretty well from this thing, but 
as soon as I switch out, it has to start its turn. It has to start its turns over. Um, so it, it can kind of, it, it'll stay in, in perpetual slow start for, for pretty much the entire match. Um, he did knock off the red card, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would have liked to have had that around, but I think that's okay. Um, as far as his, I mean, uh, this, this is a good, okay, he switches, which is good. Uh, this is nice for Palafin, of course, uh, but, okay, goes into the Dougie. Uh, we get a Sludge Bomb off. It's not going to do that much. Um, it is what it is, but yeah, I mean, ground move ground move here makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't have a great switch into this, to be honest, but I wonder how much Aqua Jet from Bear Tick does. Uh, it definitely KOs, actually. Um, I might be trapped, actually. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, because Arena Trap is allowed. He's special. Oh, I lived. Look at that. Um, yeah, Arena Trap is allowed in UNPL, so, uh, oh, that's, that's... Very unfortunate to lose this. That really opens up Palafin in the late game, um, like majorly. So that's that's not that's not not that good for us. So the trio gonna take an early KO here. Very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that that's gonna make this make this quite difficult. Um, we can just go bear tick here though in revenge. Uh, cause yeah, Aqu Aqua Jet definitely KOs here. Um, is there a reason you'd want to do something else here? I don't think there's any reason to Terra again just yet. Um, I don't need to Terra for this to KO. Um, yeah, we'll just Jet here. Get some damage off on something. Um, I, this is... Kyle, Kyle's putting me in a tough position here. I don't... I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> um, so he'll, he'll realize that I'm not choiced uh, as soon as I switch moves, if, if that's what we end up doing here. Um, not sure what he wants to go into on this, but this should do at least an, an okay chunk. Uh, but yeah, Aqu Aqua Jet definitely KOs this. Um, Could have even gone for like a liquidation and that would have done a decent chunk too. Um, Superpower would have hit Palafin pretty hard if that's if that's the switch. Nope, oh, stays in. And we just get the jet KO. Bear tick, let's go, Bear Tick. So we don't have to worry about Doug Trio anymore, which is good. Uh, that definitely uh, could have been a problem. Um, so do you go Palafin now, or what what is the what is the switch in here? I'm not sure. Uh, what is that? Okay, that is Gengar. Uh, no more T-Spikes, which makes sense. Um, here's the thing. I don't know that anything here KOs me. And Crash has a chance to KO. Because, I mean, if I tear a water and he clicks Focus Blast, then I should live that. So I could just Liquidation into Aqua Jet. Because he, he could think that I'm like Bandit or something. And if I could get rid of this, that's, that's, a, that's a big deal, I think. Do I need the health on this for anything else? I don't think I do, necessarily. Um, and I think going for Terra on this is going to make some sense. Let's try it. He switches. Okay. Well, we're going to get a big hit off on something. Deoxys. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. That's fine. Uh, this will do about a quarter if he's max, uh, max defense. Um... It'll do a little more if he's not, so we'll just kind of see how how this counts out. 
How, is this, how much does this do? Uh, yeah, he's he's pretty defensive. Um, honestly, I feel like I can just stay in and do that again. Um, cosmic pa Oh, boy. Kyle, why? Kyle, Kyle, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Please, not like this. Oh, it's doing zero. Oh, I didn't get any of the drops either. Um, although we we have this, so I mean we're, I think we're okay. But still, um, I mean you probably just recover here, right? Yeah. Oh, he's cosmic power recover. Kyle, why? <laughs> Kyle, why? Why are you why you do this? Can I get a defense drop, please? That'd be that'd be just that'd be just swell because I'm doing. Zero damage. Okay, there's the defense drop. Um, yeah, this ain't this. This is not. This is not looking good here, folks. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out some way to deal with this. Because um, yeah, assuming you're plus one defense. I mean, Poltergeist is still doing about half to this. Not that. Let's just hard swap here. We're not we're not doing enough damage to this. Uh, this is tough. We know he's not uh, like citrus berry. I'm not sure what item he is to be honest. Uh, mental herb. Okay, well that makes sense. Okay. This is this is this is scary. This is very scary. Uh, but we're gonna poltergeist and and smack you with with a leaf or a whatever. Whatever this is, uh, I can't. I he can go into Regigigas. I, I don't really have a choice. Um, I have to. I have to click this to make sure that this doesn't get uh, get too terribly set up at this point. Um, I'd rather not have to burn my Mew strategy this early in the game if I don't have to. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep that in the bag just for insurance. Okay, this does force it out, which is good. Uh, probably just goes into Gigas or yeah, that's that's Gigas. Okay. But uh, we, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't risk that. I just couldn't risk it. Okay. Um, so you probably knock off again, right? Uh, I'm just gonna go back into this. I think that's fine. Regigigas is just super bulky. Um, T wave. That's that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, let's see. Superpower. Uh, if he's no bulk, has a chance to KO. So I'm going to just click that. He, he may switch back into Gengar, but I mean, that's a little risky because if I clicked Liquidation, Gengar is going to take a lot of damage. Um, so we'll see what, uh, what he wants to do. If he goes Deoxys again, I think we just go right back into Bayonet. Um, cause again, those two mons really don't care about the paralysis. And so I've, and I've got that pocket trick room strat if I need it. So that, that may end up being what we, what we have to do. Um, cause at least right now from the outside, it looks like I'm uh, slush rush and I'm looking to be really fast with nine tails and stuff, but I'm actually not doing that. Um, so that's, that's, that's one thing that's, that's kind of nice about it is the, the paralysis really doesn't, doesn't make a difference cause I'm, I'm not really. Uh, not really shooting for that. Okay, he does switch. Wow, um, uh, that's Palafin. Okay, so this will take a good, a decent chunk. Yeah, that's a that's a good chunk. I, I like I like that damage. Uh, we will we will absolutely take that. And uh, you probably just flip turn here. I would imagine. Um, I'm gonna go hard into this. And we can get our Aurora Veil fun times started. Um, but yeah, and, and of course, if, if we can get Palafin, if we can get Palafin going once he gets that going, then that could be an opportunity for a uh, transform as well. So uh, there, there are some options here. Um, but yeah, so we got the snow up, which is nice, and Nine Tails is ready to possibly set an Aurora Veil, which is uh, which is good. 
Um, what do you go into? Gengar? Okay, uh, Gengar does outspeed me and definitely would just straight KO me if uh, if it goes for a poison move. So I don't I don't want that. I don't I don't want that. Uh, I'm just gonna go hard into this. Um, Trick Room would be nice here in a little bit. Uh, that that would definitely be would be helpful <laughs> if I can get Bayonet back in. Um, Sludge Wave, yeah, that definitely would KO me, 100%. Ow. Are you... is that specs, or is that just how much that does? I think that's probably specs. Yeah, that... that's... Well, hang on. That is modest specs. Oh, boy. Um, that's doing... that does a lot of damage. Uh, that does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm just going to jet here. Get a little bit of chip. This isn't going to do that much, but uh, eh, almost half, I guess. Cursed body isn't going to matter. Uh, yeah, just sludge waves again. And uh, that is that is the end of Beartick. Very unfortunate. Beartick got a KO, though, so we'll, we'll take it. Uh, but, yeah, now that you're at, like, 50%, um, I can go back into this. Yep, I mean you're you're modest. You are modest specs. <laughs> you are modest specs. Uh, so that is definitely uh, definitely not ideal. Um, so what do we want to do about this? How how many turns do we have of snow? We have two. This is. Do I want to risk him going back into his normal type once again? Because again, I mean, Shadow Sneak's right there. This is hard. Because if, if he switches, then I could get Ninetales back in for free and get the Veil up. And then start start chipping away at things. But if he... If he predicts that, then I'm I'm done. That's It's risky. <sighs> he does it again. Oh, man. Yep, every every time he's done that every time. Yeah, that was that was free. That was free. I should have just trusted it. Um, that's unfortunate. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, so I think we got to go hard back into this. I don't know if we even live a hit. To be honest, if he's. If he's attacking, he may T-wave. Not sure. Yeah, he T-waves. Okay. But we should be able to Veil. This is the last turn of... This should be the last turn of... Oh, it's not. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to Baton Pass then. That's super... And he stays in. Okay. That's not good. That's that's really, really not good. Um, so I don't know how safe I feel about going into this and him hitting it with a bunch of for a bunch of damage. Man, this is this is rough. This is rough. I'm 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 not doing well. If I had just gone into this, I'd have been fine. But I waited too long, and uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, do I have to go Mew? I think I have to go Mew, which is unfortunate. I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to go Mew, but, um, it is, it is what it is. Crush Grip. Okay. We can, we can take that. That's, that's fine. Um, I mean, I'm threatening CC pretty hard here. I mean, I'm, I'm threatening a lot of things pretty hard, I guess. Um, I think what the best like neutral play is. Zen Headbutt kind of hit it hits this and it hits Gengar, um, so I'll I'll go for that.
It also gives me a possible flinch chance, maybe. We'll just have to see what um, what he wants to go for. If he tries to paralyze me, then he's going to also paralyze himself. Um, he does stay in, and it does zero. Knocks off my scarf. Yeah, oh man. I've just, I've just played this whole game incredibly poorly. Um, so we'll just switch to CC at this point. He's Chopple. Oh boy. So that's doing zero. I'm getting nay nayed by a Regigigas. I'm getting absolutely nay nayed. Knock off again. I do live, which is great. Um, I, I, yeah, this isn't, this isn't, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. I mean, you just stay in and do it again, right? Or are you going to swap at this point and, and put me on the back foot once again? He very well might. Oh boy, Kyle! <laughs> Kyle, he's he's reading me like a book. Uh, goes Palafin. Okay, this is uh, this is not 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 the way that I was hoping this would go. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. And I just I just go down here. There's I don't think there's any reason to save this. Um. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to save this. Yeah. Jet KO is 100%. Um, so, yeah, we just let that... Let that take us down. Unfortunate. Uh, but we go back into this, I think. Oh, we're wow, we're paralyzed. I should have taken the two seconds to look at that. I'm going to try to Veil. We may end up just going down to any hit right here actually we do have a defense boost because of the snow which might help I don't know uh, but let's let's see if we can get the veil off I, I don't I don't know if we can Palavin might just end up just sweeping the whole team at this point we'll see because I mean there's a bunch of stuff that still just hasn't even seen the field yet which is uh which is super unfortunate. Um, I was ho I was hoping for a little better of a showing against against Kyle to give him a little better of a fight, but uh, man, he's he's just done really well. He 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 prepped good. He brought some really cool stuff, uh, as 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 always expected. Um, so either either way, super fun. Uh, let's let's see what he wants to do. I mean, to me, it seems like it's probably best to just stay in and just take the KO. I lived on five. I lived. <laughs> How did I? I mean, that's that's the snow. That's the snow defense boost coming through right there, man. That is exactly what that is. Um, so I will baton pass in case he wants to switch for some reason. Um, otherwise, he's just going to take this, and then we're going to have to go back Scalibur, and he does switch. Okay. Goes into Gigas. Okay. It all comes down to this. Can Baxcalibur do something? That that is that is the question. Can Baxcalibur do something? And we're we're about to find out. Uh, so we have to scale shot here, because um, otherwise I just get. Uh, I just get paralyzed. Oh, that's doing zero. Uh, we get all five, which is nice, but we do get paralyzed here, I'm sure. Um, that would that would make sense. Yeah, T wave. He missed the T wave. That's. That's a big deal. That's a big miss. Me being able to maintain my speed is a big deal. That's that's super tough. 
Oh man, Kyle, I'm I'm very sorry about that. That that does matter. Uh, potentially, that that potentially makes a big difference. Makes a big difference because I would be outsped by. Because uh, now I outspeed Gengar, I outspeed Mousehold, I outspeed all these things that I would not have outsped if he got that paralysis off. So that that absolutely matters. Um, uh, that's really tough. That that miss that miss is tough. So we'll take this out. Vax will take its take this KO here against the Regigigas. Oh boy. Um, the question is, do we take a a minus two defense jet punch in the snow I honestly don't know if we do <laughs> um let's see actually I believe we do um minus two defense uh let's not even let's see with snow, Jet Punch does 20, and that's Adamant Choice Banded, so I can take that pretty easily, actually. Uh, it goes into Deoxys, okay. Uh, this thing can take hits for days, I think. Um, if we... Do we Swords Dance on this? I think I have to. I mean, your your cosmic power, your 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 bulky, your bulky variant. I think I have to SD here. This is risky. This may end up completely blowing up in my face. He recovers. Okay, we're plus two. At plus four, we should KO any variant of this. Um, what do you have left? I should two shot this though with spear. So let's not get too greedy. That SD makes a big difference, I think. I think that that helps us out a lot. Um, so let's let's try it. Let's see what happens. Can Bax pull this all the way back? I, I really I really don't know if it can. Um, but this should two shot any variant of Deoxys, I believe. Even if even if he's max defense, this should two shot. Um, because of the loaded dice. He has not shown T-Wave on this. I'm not sure what he is. Um, he has shown the Cosmic Power. He's shown Recover. And then we've scared him out besides that. So I assume maybe Stored Power and maybe Nightshade? I, I don't I don't really... I don't know why. Yeah, but it should... I believe it'll live one. Uh, maybe five hits of KO if I get five. I do get five. It does just one shot. Okay. Deoxys. Gone. Okay. We're... I think we're somehow still in this. I, I think we're somehow still in this. I, I don't I don't know. I know that Gengar is out of this. Um, we don't have snow anymore to help Deoxys' defense. So that's a little tough, but... I think I'm okay. Uh, that's the mouse hold. We we know we know the nickname for the mouse hold, uh, and I think it's hilarious. Uh, we just spear here again. I don't I don't think there's any reason to click anything else at this point. Um, I, I think that's just super 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 safe. Um, so hopefully, okay, he is gonna terra. Oh, he could be terra fire. I didn't think about that. He might be terra fire. He is Terra Fire. Oh boy. Although I can take fire hits, so I'm not worried about taking that hit, but that as a defensive measure actually may end up making a difference. I might need five hits. No! <laughs> no! We don't get it. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose on that. I didn't get the I didn't get the last hit. He's counting to 10, boys. He's counting to 10. Oh, no. I... <sighs> Man.
well uh i think i think that's i think that might just be it <laughs> i think that might just be it because he saved reggie didn't he i don't think we ever took down reggie gigas and i i think we might lose to reggie gigas never thought i'd say no reggie gigas is gone um we just sneak here right we just sneak uh Everything should be in sneak range at this point, I think. I think. Um, we'll, we'll see. But I got a Nine Tails in the back that is pretty much useless at this point. Uh, and I got a Bayonet that uh, can't Terra because we already terra the Bear Tick. So, uh, it, is, it is what it is. Um, and because he's terra out of normal, I can Shadow Sneak him. Bayonet takes a KO. Let's go, Bayonet. Okay, okay. Um, so, oh yeah, the veil. That man, I I almost lived that. I lived nine of them. I, I couldn't quite live ten because of the minus two defense. If I didn't, if I didn't take that second boost, which I thought I would need it because of the because of the uh, T wave. Oh man, I could I could have lived that. But that's on me. That's that's all. That's all me. Okay, I mean, I, I think I just go down to a jet punch here, right? I don't think Bayonet can take a jet punch. Uh, I definitely don't take a wave crash. Uh, not even, not even, no. That should be range for Shadow Sneak, I think. That should be Shadow Sneak range, if I'm not mistaken. Jet, yep. Oh, we lived. How did we live? But he also lived. Oh my gosh. Well, I, he's got some defense investment or something. He's got HP. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, Bayonet almost clutched that up. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, that's... That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. We're gonna... I... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He clicks anything and I, I go down, so it, it doesn't matter. GG's to Kyle. I, I completely... Completely threw this one away there at the end, but... Um, man, it living there is rough. It living there is so tough. Um, so yeah, he's definitely got some bulk in there, and um, and it it saved him. So that's uh, that's pretty much all she wrote. I, I think that pretty much seals our fate of not making playoffs after week two. Bad luck. Week four, throwing it away, and then just a, a rough performance on this week. We uh, we I, I think that's pretty much it. So we're we're just gonna be trying to have some fun for the rest of the season. That's all. That's all we can do. So again. I'm sorry for for tough results. I, I don't I don't know what happened. Um, I've made I, I was in finals last season of UNPL and haven't been able to make any playoffs since. So uh, we're we're just we're in a bit of a slump, and it is what it is. But uh, either way, huge GGs to Kyle. It's uh, absolutely awesome to be able to play him, and uh, I think I, I think that he played really well and brought some really cool stuff. So anyway, until next time, stay safe out there, stay healthy. We'll see you later. Bye bye.